It was not my fault. Those people are thieves. A likely story. But it is true. Madeline, do try to keep up. Oui, Monsieur Henri. I must come back tomorrow and follow them. Alone. Chop, chop, young ladies. We'll be late for our outing at the Botanical Society. Where the devil is Madeline? She has the measles. <laughs> Poor thing. Perhaps we should call a doctor. The moment we return. All went well when the girls told the truth to Miss Clavel. I do not believe it. But you must! We found the scissors at the Louvre. They belong to a couple named Maximo and Dumbella. Madeline was right. I will talk to Lord Cuckoo Face. <sighs> A 
immediate move. Where, oh where, could those thieves be? Madeline could just not see. Until she climbed a nearby tree. Maximo and his Dumbella were there under a bright umbrella. particular reason? Of course. I am visiting a friend. A very, very dear friend. And the name? Uh, I forget. We are so close. I, I just call her Cherie. I am afraid that I must ask you to leave. specialty of the house. Voila! Bonjour! If I see you in here one more time, I shall call the police. Now, is that clear? Think of it, darling. This will be the most daring robbery ever attempted. The crown jewels. <gasps> then everything is set? We oui, For the royal reception at the tower. That is only two weeks away. Precisely, Dumbella. Now, let us go over the plans again. First, we cause a distraction near the king. And that is when we grab the jewels. Got it? Make a fire in the fireplace, Cherie. <gasps> a fire? What was that? I did not hear anything. It sounded like the fireplace was talking. Nonsense, dear. You are cold. I will build a roaring fire. <laughs> Madeline made a quick descent. Down. And down. And down she went. There's the little ragamuffin. Uh, merci. 
Come along, then. You must help. I have discovered the plot to 